Jeremiah 7. The word that came to Jeremiah from Hashem, saying, Stand in the gateway of the temple of Hashem and proclaim this message there. Say, Hear the word of Hashem, all people of Judah, who come through these gates to prostrate themselves before Hashem. Thus said Hashem, Master of legions, God of Israel, Improve your ways and your deeds, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Do not trust the false statement, saying, The sanctuary of Hashem, the sanctuary of Hashem are they. Only if you truly improve your ways and your deeds, if you truly do justice between man and his fellow, do not oppress stranger, orphan, and widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, and do not go after the gods of others to your own harm. Then I will cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your forefathers, forever and ever. Behold, you trust the false statements that are of no use. Can one steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense to the Baal, and go after the gods of others that you never knew, and then come and stand before me in this temple, upon which my name is proclaimed, and say, We are saved, in order to continue committing all these abominations? Has this temple, upon which my name is proclaimed, become a cave of criminals in your eyes? Moreover, behold, I have seen it, the word of Hashem. For go to my shrine that is in Shiloh, where I caused my name to dwell there at first, and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people Israel. So now, since you do all these deeds, the word of Hashem, and I have spoken to you, speaking repeatedly, but you have not listened. I have called out to you, but you did not respond. I shall do to the temple, upon which my name is proclaimed, upon which you place your trust, and to the place that I have given to you and to your forefathers, as I did to Shiloh. I cast you from my presence. I cast out all your brethren, all the seed of Ephraim. And you, Jeremiah, do not pray for this people. Do not speak up for them with a cry and a prayer. And do not entreat me, for I will not listen to you. Do you not see what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The sons gather wood, the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead the dough to make pastries in honor of the Queen of Heaven and to pour out libations to the gods of others in order to provoke me. Is it me they are provoking? The word of Hashem. Is it not themselves bringing shame upon themselves? Therefore, Thus said my Lord Hashem Elohim, Behold, my anger and wrath will be poured out upon this place, upon the people and upon the animals, upon the trees of the field and upon the fruit of the earth. It shall burn and not be extinguished. Thus said Hashem, Master of legions, God of Israel, Add your burnt offerings to your peace offerings and eat their meat. For I did not speak with your forefathers, nor did I command them on the day I took them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt or peace offerings. Rather, it was only this thing that I commanded them, saying, Hearken to my voice that I will be your God and you will be my people. And you will go on the entire way that I command you so that it will be well for you. But they did not listen. And they did not incline their ear, but followed their own counsels and the visions of their own evil heart. They went backward and not forward. From the day your forefathers left the land of Egypt until this day, I sent you all my servants, the prophets, daily, rising early and sending forth. But they would not listen to me, and they would not incline their ear. They stiffened their neck and became worse than their forefathers. You will tell them all these things, but they will not listen to you. You will call out to them, but they will not answer you. Say unto them, 
This is the nation that would not listen to the voice of Hashem, its God, and they would not accept rebuke. Faith is lost. It is detached from their speech. Tear out your hair and throw it away. Proclaim lament from the hilltops. For Hashem has rejected and forsaken the generation of His wrath. For the children of Judah have done what is evil in my eyes. The word of Hashem. They have placed their abominations in the temple upon which my name is proclaimed to contaminate it. They have built the high places of the Topheth that are in the valley of the son of Hinnon to burn their sons and their daughters in fire, which I had not commanded and had not entered my mind. Therefore, behold, days are coming, the word of Hashem, when it will no longer be called the Topheth and the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of killing, for they will bury in Topheth until there is no more room. The corpses of this people will become food for the birds of the heavens and the animals of the earth, and none will make them afraid. I will eliminate from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the sound of joy and the sound of gladness, the sound of groom and the sound of bride, for the land will become ruin. Jeremiah 8, at that time, the word of Hashem, they will remove the bones of the kings of Judah the bones of its leaders, the bones of its priests, the bones of the prophets, and the bones of Jerusalem's inhabitants from their graves, and spread them out under the sun and the moon and all the heavenly legion, which they loved, and which they worshipped, and which they followed, and which they sought out, and to which they prostrated themselves. They will not be gathered together nor buried. They will be like dung upon the face of the earth, Yet death will be preferable to life for the surviving remnant of this evil family in all the places of the survivors where I will have driven them. The word of Hashem, master of legions. You shall say unto them, Thus said Hashem, Will they fall and not rise? If he would repent, would he not return to them? Then why is this rebellious people of Jerusalem eternally rebellious? They hold fast to guile. They refuse to repent. I have listened and heard. They speak untruth. No man relents of his evil, saying, What have I done? They all follow their course like a horse racing headlong in war. Even the stork in the heavens knows its migration seasons, and the turtle dove, the swift, and the crane keep the time of their arrival. But my people do not know the law of Hashem. How can you say, we are wise, and Hashem's Torah is with us? Indeed, they made the quill for falsehood. The scribes are false. The wise men are ashamed. They are distraught and trapped. Behold, they have rejected the word of Hashem. So what wisdom is in them? Therefore, I will give their wives to others and their fields to usurpers. For from the simplest to the most distinguished, they all extort booty. From prophet to priest, all deal in falsehood. They relieved the impending disaster of the daughter of my people by making light of it, saying, Peace! Peace! But there is no peace. Were they ashamed that they had committed abominations? They are not ashamed, nor do they know how to feel humiliated. Therefore, they will fall among the fallen. At the time I attend to them, they will stumble, said Hashem. I shall utterly destroy them, the word of Hashem. There will be no grapes on the vine and no figs on the fig tree. The leaf will wither, and what I have given to them will pass away. Why do we remain here? Let us gather together and go to the fortified cities, there to be silent. For Hashem, our God, has caused us to be silent and has given us poisonous water to drink. For we have sinned to Hashem. We may hope for peace, but there is no goodness. We hope for a time of healing, but behold, there is terror. From Dan is heard the snorting of his steeds. 
At the sound of his mighty one's footsteps, the whole land quakes. They will come and devour the land and its fullness, the land and those who dwell in it. For behold, I am inciting against you venomous serpents that cannot be charmed, and they will sting you. The word of Hashem. I seek strength to withstand sorrow, but my heart is sick within me. Behold, the sound of the cry of the daughter of my people from a distant land. Is Hashem not in Zion? Is its king not within it? But he replies, Why have they angered me with their idols, with their alien vanities? The harvest has passed, the summer has ended, but we have not been saved. Over the disaster of the daughter of my people have I been shattered. I am blackened. Desolation has gripped me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no healer there? Why has the health of the daughter of my people not recovered? If only my head would be water and my eyes a spring of tears, so that I could cry all day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Jeremiah 9 If only someone would give me a traveler's lodge in the wilderness, then I would forsake my people and leave them. For they are all adulterers, a band of traitors. They draw their tongues, but their bow is falsehood. Not for good faith have they grown strong in the land, for they go forth from evil to evil. But me they do not know, the word of Hashem. Let each man beware of his fellow. Do not trust any kin, for every kinsman acts perversely, and every acquaintance mongers slander. Each man mocks his fellow, and they do not speak truth. They train their tongue to speak falsehood, striving to be iniquitous. Your dwelling is amid deceit. Because of their deceit, they refuse to know me, the word of Hashem. Therefore, thus said Hashem, Master of legions, Behold, I shall purge them, and I shall test them. For what else can I do for the daughter of my people? Their tongue is like a drawn arrow, speaking deceit. With his mouth one speaks peace with his fellow, but inside of him he lays his ambush. Shall I not punish them for these things? The word of Hashem. From a nation such as this, shall my soul not exact vengeance? For the mountains I will raise my voice in weeping and wailing, and for the pastures of the wilderness a dirge. For they are parched, without a person passing by. And they will not fear the sound of cattle. From bird of heaven to animal, they have wandered off and gone. I shall make Jerusalem heaps of rubble, a serpent's lair, the cities of Judah I shall make a wasteland, without inhabitant. Who is the wise man who will understand this? Who is he to whom the mouth of Hashem speaks, that he may explain this? For what reason did the land perish and become parched like the desert, without a passerby? But Hashem has said, Because of their forsaking my Torah that I put before them. Moreover, they did not heed my voice, nor follow it. They followed the vision of their heart, and they followed the Baalim, as their fathers taught them. Therefore, thus said Hashem, Master of Legions, God of Israel, Behold, I am feeding this people wormwood, and giving them poisonous water to drink. I shall scatter them among the nations, that neither they nor their fathers have known. I shall send the sword after them until I annihilate them. Thus said Hashem, Master of Legions, Contemplate, call upon the dirge women to come, and send for the wise women to come. Let them come quickly and raise up a lament for us. Let our eyes run with tears and our eyelids flow with water, for the sound of wailing is heard coming from Zion. How have we been plundered? How greatly we have been shaped, for we have forsaken the land, for our own dwellings have cast us out. Therefore, hearken, O women, to the word of Hashem, and let your ear absorb the word of his mouth. Teach a lament to your daughters, 
each woman a dirge to her friend. For death has ascended through our windows. It has entered our palaces to cut down the infant from the street, young men from the plazas. Speak. Thus is the word of Hashem. Human corpses will fall like dung on the open field and like a sheaf behind the harvester, but there is none to gather. Thus said Hashem, Let not the wise man glorify himself with his wisdom, and let not the strong man glorify himself with his strength. Let not the rich man glorify himself with his wealth, for only with this may one glorify himself, contemplating and knowing me. For I am Hashem, who does kindness, justice, and righteousness in the land. For in these is my desire, the word of Hashem. Behold, days are coming, the word of Hashem, when I shall deal with everyone who is circumcised for his uncircumcision, with Egypt, with Judah, with Edom, with the children of Ammon, and with Moab, and with all those who dwell in the remotest corners of the wilderness, for all the nations are uncircumcised, and the house of Israel is of uncircumcised heart. Okay, welcome back. Chapter 1 through 3. Do not be afraid. Hold on tight. This is going to hurt, but I will always rescue you. Jeremiah, your job is to destroy, to uproot, but also to plant and to seed. These are some heavy, heavy tasks. But the iniquity of Israel has indeed become a sin. The sin is a contamination. They are rejected. But they will be gathered in, and it will be a selective gathering. Oh, two people from this town. Oh, just one from this family. And the Ark of Hashem, the whole thing, that's not going to be a thing. Considering that the Ark of Hashem is the Holy of Holies. And he's saying here that it's not going to be a thing. You could assume that all the rest of the stuff is not going to be a thing either. Now that really says something. In episode 231, we're seeing how repentance is the key in worshiping God. And this was too difficult to do, to circumcise your heart to God. Too hard. And even with Israel as an example of what's going to happen, Judah says, oh, we're going to go in the exact same direction. So you have to appreciate that there must have been some sort of a draw or a, or a temptation that exists that maybe we are unaware of today. Jeremiah points to a people who have eyes but cannot see and ears but cannot hear. And this is a common theme, cured by the pouring out of the Spirit of God, but that hasn't happened yet. So overall, they have a refusal to obey. God declares that Babylon's going to come and destroy these people. In episode 232, we see the recipe. You have to improve your ways. Justice, fairness, help the stranger. Have a considerate heart for the orphan and the widow. Don't do any murders. Don't do any fake religious stuff. This was the offer from Moses. It's the same promise from God. Act in this beautiful way and you will be blessed. Seems reasonable. Unfortunately, the leaders, elders, priests, and scribes failed miserably at their jobs. God says that they made the quill for spreading lies. So he promises on that day that he's going to take the circumcised, which is to say all the people who follow all the religious rules, and he will deal with them because of their uncircumcision. Meaning, of course, that they have not taken it into consideration in their heart. He's talking about the hypocrites. This is, I think, why Solomon stresses to be quiet. <laughs> Whew, there was a lot here. Thank you for watching. The NQE is out.